Good morning, YouTube. Thank you once again for tuning in. I am the Cairo, and you are now watching The Morning Coffee. The Morning Coffee. Today, I want to let you guys join me on a process that I use for creating bus groups or bus tracks for effect sins. So we have this one scene beat startup which consists of group A being our sample parts and then group B being our drum parts. So what we want to do to avoid putting too much stress on our processor is create one effects track that allows us to bust or send multiple sounds through in cases where we would want to use that same effect on several different sounds. To get started, from the software, we'll hit this plus sign to create a new group or as I'm about to do from the hardware, I'm just going to hit C and it's going to bring up group C. So the next few steps I'll be doing from the software so that everyone can follow along. So we're going to come over here, hit this plus sign and we're going to select the effect of our choice. I'm going to go with the replica XT because it's a drastic sounding effect that as I make changes, you guys will be able to hear them. Now that we have the Replica XT up, we're going to go over to our mixer, which is this icon here. And you see that it's there. Next, we're going to hop over to the track or group that we want to manipulate using the Replica XT. As you can see within this group, we have several different options that we can choose to send to the Replica XT. Since it's already highlighted, let's go ahead and use the snare. Let's hit that snare first without any effect. Straightforward. Let's click on group and then let's select the replica XT. And now let's hear the same snare with the replica XT sent. Now let's play it in the track so we can hear our sounds. And so it just has a staggering delay effect on it, which is pretty cool, but let's see what else we can do. So to select some different effects choices, what we're going to do is hop back over to group C and we're going to scroll through the different choices that we have here on the sidebar. And as you can see, we can choose the different types of effects that we want. So let's try something like a, I want to go with some type of distortion. So let's try analog broken. So just double click on that, it's going to come up and let's play it. So a little distorted, let's hop back over to group B and let's add another sound to that group. So let's hear the snare real quick. So it's kind of broken. <laughs> And so if we want to add that same effect to other sounds within this group, all we need to do is click on the specified sound and then add the effect. So let's hear the kick without the effect. And then let's add the effect. And there we go. So it's on the kick and it's on the snare. And if we want to add it to another group, all we need to do is go to that group and select the sound. So that's our main sample part without the effect and let's add the effect to it. And that's pretty dope. So let's quickly recap what we did. So we created a bus or send track for our effect and we went over to our drum group and we sent our kick and our snare to the effect. And then we also went over to our sample group and we sent the first sample over to the effect. So let's hear each one of them. And then let's hear the beat back with the manipulated sounds. So 
So of course, this was just for how-to purposes, because as you could see, nothing sounds great. It just sounds like we made changes. And that's just one of the ways to save your computer's processor. Hope that you found this tip useful and hope that you come back again. Now that was some good coffee. If you enjoyed this video, cruise around the channel. Also hit that subscribe button to be notified of new content. Once again, I am DeCairo. Thank you for tuning in. Plug in. Get connected. We are TMR. DeCairo did this.